In order for your business users to leverage cloud governance and or MyHub to be able to make service requests for brand new Yammer communities, you create an approval process, a Yammer community policy, and then a brand new Yammer community provisioning service. But what about all of your existing Yammer communities? What if you want to bring them into cloud governance to be able to apply similar policies and settings? To do that, log on to cloud governance and on the settings page in the workspace category, locate and click on import existing Microsoft 365 objects. At the top, you'll notice we're on the export mode tab. The export mode and import mode tabs work together. First, you have to export all of your existing Yammer communities. Then you fill information out on a spreadsheet based on how to pull those into cloud governance. Then you come back in and you import it. What kind of choices do I have to make first though at the export side? Well, we would give the job a name and then we would scroll down and we would select Yammer community. You then have to pick your appropriate tenant. And then do you want to export it to a local path or a predefined export location. That's it. You would then click save and export. Now I have done that previously and here's my spreadsheet. This of course is a demo tenant from Microsoft 365. So of course we don't have a lot of communities in here, but we can see their names. We can see the email address and we can see the network name. Again, the tenant. Now I've already made a couple of changes on this spreadsheet. So please note, as a default, there will be no community policy, expiration date, primary contact, or secondary contact listed. So it's your job to fill that in if you choose to. In particular, you will want to add the community policy. You can see the community policy name by going back into Cloud Governance, to Settings, and into Policy. So, on your brand new blank spreadsheet, if you have more than one name, put the policy name that's appropriate to that community in that appropriate row. In this case, I only have the one. So I would have typed that in and I'm just gonna copy that down. Expiration date is if you would like to set a lease period for the community, you do not have to fill that in. Primary community contact though is something that you definitely will want to fill that in. You can see here, I've mixed up a few different sample users, but essentially who is the contact for that specific community? The reason why this is important is because tasks generated around that community will typically go to the contact. Things like renewals for permissions or metadata if we want to delete the community and a request comes in for that. Who does that stuff typically go to? It goes to the community contact. So the appropriate person should be listed for each. Again, let me emphasize that when you first open this spreadsheet after the export, this will be empty. I have previously filled these in just so we didn't have to include that step here in the video. If you would like a secondary contact, you'll want to fill those in. Scrolling off to the right, do you want to keep the existing community site quota? The reason it asks you for this is because the policy, the Yammer community policy comes with a defined quota. The default for the spreadsheet is no, I did not fill these in. This was already here. The idea is whatever the existing quota is will be overwritten by the quota as defined over in your policy. If you would like to change that, you simply change no to yes. Would you like to deploy the Cloud Governance app into the community's underpinning SharePoint site collection? The default there is none. And then you have a couple of columns for filling in custom metadata that you may have previously defined in Cloud Governance. So you would go back into Cloud Governance, into the metadata, find the metadata's name, and put that in in a very similar way to what we would have had to do for the community. Once I have that all filled out, I can save. And now we can go back into Cloud Governance to the settings page, back into import existing Microsoft 365 objects, and we go to the import mode tab. 
we give the import a name and a description. We tell it what we are importing. And then we browse for our file. Here is where I've saved my file on my local machine. So I select it and click open. And now to kick off the import up at the top, we click save and apply. That job will run. And when it completes, your Yammer communities will now be under the oversight of cloud governance. Again, essentially that means that all the settings you put into that policy that you built have now been applied to that community for things like quota, lease period, inactivity threshold, and renewals. Thank you for watching this short video on how to import your Yammer communities into cloud governance.